What is going on guys? Jeff back here with the Project Xylus wide body build. We're in part number 19 now. We're going to move right along, picking right up where we left off in the last part. We had just taken the over fender off of the car and we had to take out the clay, the wood, the universal flare and everything that, that came off with it. So we've got the entire thing completely open and clear now. It took a good amount of time and just went over the entire thing trying to get as much of the clay as humanly possible out of there and I got pretty much all of it out, at least all of the stuff that's going to matter. There may still be a couple of little pieces in the deep recessive areas that will not be detrimental to the final piece, so I'm not worried about it at all. The other thing I had to contend with was the very thin film of PVA that was left on the inside. If you'll remember, we laid up the PVA right on top of our clay sculpture and that remained on the surface of the fiberglass, so I did have to take that off as well because if we had tried to fiberglass over the PVA, it would not have actually been sticking to the fiberglass itself. It would have been sticking to that PVA, so there wouldn't have actually been a bond. So I had to get rid of the PVA film. Thankfully, it was a very easy thing to do. PVA dissolves with just water, so all I had to do was just wet down a sponge and just go over the entire thing, and the PVA just dissolved. Once it was dissolved, after a couple of minutes, I just wiped it all out with a paper towel completely done no problem after that i had to go ahead and give the whole thing a good sand down at least in all the areas that we're going to be doing fiberglassing underneath now we have to do a little bit of fiberglassing under here to not only patch some of the holes that i had accidentally put in as i was doing my preliminary sand down but also to reinforce the piece overall essentially we're going to be putting fiberglass in every area where we had clay those are going to be the areas that were raised off of the car the top portion in the back here, the, the portion that goes up to the hood line right here, actually was just laid up right on the stock fender, so that area does not need to be uh, fiberglass. No thickness needs to be added to that because it's already a quarter inch thick, which is perfect. We don't want it to be any thicker, and it's plenty strong enough so it does not require any reinforcement at all. However, the areas that had clay, and uh, the central area right here especially, and the corner areas, definitely need reinforcement. Any areas that were raised off of the car and fiberglassed over need fiberglass reinforcement on the inside. And in order to do that, we had to sand down those areas really well because if you'll remember, this is polyester resin and once it cures, the wax inside the resin rises to the top and it creates that glossy layer over the top. If you try to just apply fiber, or more fiberglass resin on top of that waxy layer, it's not going to adhere. You're gonna have a very, very loose uh, adhesion. So you got to sand that waxy layer down and create some tracks with your sandpaper so that your new fiberglass will grab on real strong. So I sanded the whole thing down inside. I got into all the little grooves in the front area here. I was very careful to get all of the corners and get into the real detailed areas because that's where that little waxy layer likes to try and hide in there and those little creases and crevices. So I sanded it all out really good. So we are now just left to go ahead and start doing our fiberglassing on the underneath. However, before we do our fiberglassing, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the outline of the entire over fender out. All this outlying fiberglass, all this excess stuff that we no longer need, I'm gonna trim it all away right now and then I'm gonna actually set in my temporary mounting points I'm not gonna carve in the detail of the mounting points yet, but I'm gonna actually drill the holes. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of measuring on the other side to get the exact positions that they are on the other side on this one. And then we're just gonna do some drills into the fender and uh, into the over fender itself so we can set it back on the car. The reason why we have to do that before we do our fiberglassing is because when you lay up your fiberglass, you want to affix the piece back onto the car while it's curing. If you leave it off the car and you're curing fiberglass inside while it's off the car, then you run the risk of your piece curing and hardening up in the wrong shape because it flexes. It naturally flexes and uh, it's, it's not quite taking the exact shape as it is when it's on the body of the car. So you want to lay up your fiberglass and then bolt the thing back onto the car so that it cures in the exact shape that you want it to be. It's very important that you do that or you're gonna run into serious warping problems. Ask me how I know, I've had this problem before. Now, I don't really have to get into doing the drilling just yet, and in fact, I may not. I may just choose to just fix it back on with tape because that is an option. Um, but I'm gonna to have to drill anyway, so I'm still thinking about whether or not I wanna go ahead and just do my 
my drilling right now or, or wait till a little bit later to do that. Either way, you have to get it back on the car in the exact position while your fiberglass is curing. Very, very important. So for now, let's go ahead and get started lining out all of our outline. I'll use a Sharpie marker to go ahead and trace exactly where I want to cut. So it's essentially gonna be a cut line. So it'll be a lot easier for me to follow that black line as opposed to just trying to follow the, uh, the outline in the fiberglass. So let's go ahead and make our outlines and then we'll cut it out with our Dremel. All right, so as you can see, we have our nice black line there indicating exactly where we need to cut. And you'll notice here as I come in through here, I have marked it just on the outside of the line that we actually need to cut. Let's see if I can get you a better example. Right here, you see how I've, I've marked it just outside that actual crease right there? Because we don't need to actually get it exactly cut right out to shape right now. We just need to get rid of this excess and then we can sand it down to the exact shape that we need. So it doesn't have to be a super exact cut with that Dremel right now. If we were trying to get it super exact, we'd have a hell of a time because it's just not that easy with the Dremel tool. So the sanding will actually be a lot easier to get that closer to where it needs to be. Now this door crease here can be fairly exact because we know that the over fender doesn't actually come over the door seam. So we are actually gonna follow that line right there and cut that up right there. But then again, you can see how I come up just past the, uh, the actual line of the over fender. We're gonna be cutting that out, it's a simple cut. And then again, just over the actual crease. And then we'll just fine tune that with our sanding after everything is done and it's back on the car. We'll make sure, we'll double confirm that everything is, every line is straight and where it should be. And we'll be cherry. So you can see as I'm taking a look at the flare here in the light, uh, this bottom section right here is where we had our clay laid up and the shiny section up here is where it was laid up right over the factory fender. So this is going to be the area where we're going to be putting the fiberglass all in this area right here and we're going to be filling the canard with resin completely. We're just going to fill the whole thing up with resin and then uh, or at least most of it anyways. We may not have to do the entire thing but we're going to put a lot of resin in there. We're going to be doing fiberglassing here, fiberglassing all in through this front piece up to about this point right here. This is where I had blended the factory fender line right here into the clay design in the front. So we're not going to be laying up fiberglass over this portion right here because this sits right on this section right here. And we don't want that to get any thicker because it's plenty thick enough already right there. We're just going to be laying the fiberglass in the raised areas like I was explaining before where the clay was. Again, that's all along here, along the inside of the sidewall, along this, of course, filling in this so we can sand it down. And all along through the back here, we're going to be, you can see a couple of holes I got in right there too. We're going to be fiberglassing that, repairing all that, and filling all this with fiberglass as well. So it's going to be nice and strong by the time we're done with it. And this section here is already very strong. It won't require any additional reinforcement at all. Like I said, it's about a quarter inch thick already and that's perfect, that's right where we want it. All right, so now that we got our lines, let's go ahead and get our dust mask on, get the Dremel tool warmed up and get to cutting.
All right guys, so I've just finished trimming the outline of the entire piece all the way around in the back side and in the front here. I also trimmed out the side wall area right here. Of course, there is still gonna need to be a little bit of refinement to the outline of the piece. I just got it down as close as I could for the moment without actually going into a lot of detail. Uh, I did kind of get into a little bit of detail on the headlight line right here because uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way right now because that is the most difficult line on the entire over fender here to get right. Well, that one and the upper line right there. So I got those real straight and got them real uh, nice and defined, but everything else pretty much is gonna need a little bit of touch up uh, on the last phase. So we are definitely looking good. We got the approximate shape that we want. So now we're gonna go ahead and do work on the underside. As I said, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the canard cavity here with resin. I want that really nice and hard in there so we can go ahead and sand it down to the shape. I still have to do a little bit of sanding on the canard. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that with resin right now. I don't need to put the over fender on the car for that section because uh, there's really nothing to warp in there. It's just a cavity that I'm gonna drop the resin into. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first and let that cure up. And uh, once that's cure and real hard in there, then we'll go ahead and start the process of uh, fiberglassing the inside of this as well. Now I think I am gonna just go ahead and do the tape method and tape this thing onto the car as opposed to drilling out right now. Um, I think that would just be easier and quicker. And uh, I'll get my, my reinforcement all dialed in so it's nice and strong and won't flex quite as much when I go in with my drill. So I'm gonna tape it on the car and let the fiberglass reinforcement cure. I think that'll work just fine. I don't think we need to go in with our, our drill just yet, but we're moving right along here, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some resin and get the canard filled up. All right guys, so I finished filling up the canard here and I let it cure for about an hour and it's already nice and hard. So this is solid. I can now go in and do all the sanding that I'm gonna need to do without worrying about getting in too much and putting holes in through here. It's all one solid piece now, so we're good to go for our refinement sanding at the end of this process here. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and start laying up our fiberglass on the interior here. Fairly simple procedure, just gonna use fiberglass mat, about two layers in the areas that I explained earlier, and then I'm gonna use some tape to go ahead and tape the piece onto the car. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. I've already tested it and it fits like a glove, so I'll be able to get it in the exact position that I need it to be in, and it will cure in that position. But before I start laying up my fiberglass, I'm gonna go over the fender one more time and just make sure that the tape is still all in good condition here. I wanna make sure that I didn't pull up any of the masking tape that we put down in the process of removing the over fender from the car the first time. So I'm just gonna double up on the protection and make sure that we're good because we are gonna be putting the over fender back on the car with wet resin on the back of it. So 
we don't want any any holes in the tape or anything that we might have compromised when we took took it off the car so i'm going to go over one more time and make sure everything is good and we're fully protected and then i'm going to start laying up my glass all right so the packing tape barrier is solid in place on the car so i'm not worried about my paint at all and we are good to go i've gone ahead and cut out all of my fiberglass ahead of time so i'm not scrambling to do it while i have resin curing so I got all of that at several different sizes. I've got small pieces, large pieces, middle sized pieces, everything in between, because you just never know. Sometimes you just need a real small piece to get into the corners, and sometimes you need big pieces. So I just cut out a bunch of different sizes and always way more than I need, just in case. You know, you'd rather have too much and not need it than need it and not have it. So got all my fiberglass and everything ready to go. I've got two cups of resin. There's no hardener mix in them yet, but I've got them ready to go. In case I run out of one batch and I need to mix up another one real quick, I've already got it poured into a second cup, so I'm good to go. I think I'm going to need about six ounces of fiberglass resin. Now I'm going to go ahead and just rip up some of the mat and put it into some of the corners and uh, get the corners done first, some of the more trickier areas, some of the tighter creases and lines and stuff like that. And that's just going to ensure that the corners are nice and solid and no air is able to get into those corners as I'm trying to fit over large pieces of fiberglass. Sometimes it will lift up in the corners and stuff like that. So by just putting a little bunch of fiberglass mat in there and getting it done first, it helps to prevent that. The other thing to note is I have my packing tape to apply the overfender back on the car on standby. I am ready to go as soon as I have all of my glass laid up. I am not gonna wait long before I get this thing up and get it on the car. You don't have to be like the flash and get it on there like that fast because it takes time for this stuff to cure. It's not like it's going to instantly cure and take that shape, but you don't want to wait around. You want to get it on there as quick as you can. So I'm going to get it laid up and everything, and then I have my tape and my scissors and all that on standby to get it up and get it taped onto the car and everything, all right? The point is, it's just having everything ready ahead of time instead of getting to a certain point and being like, oh crap, I need this, I need that, and you got resin all over your hands and you're fumbling around. Been there way too many times, and I'm telling you, it's just not a good time. So <laughs> I've learned my lesson and I get everything ready ahead of time. I'm always thinking two or three steps ahead. You know, what if I need this? What if I need that? Whatever. So anyways, let's go ahead and get those corners set in and we'll go ahead and start laying down the rest of the mat, get this thing taped onto the car.
All right, guys, we got the flare glassed up from the inside. You can see right here that real deep brown color in there. It's completely covered up, really nice and thick with the fiberglass on the inside. So this thing is gonna be very, very strong. I double and in some places triple layered the fiberglass on the bottom. We also got it taped up on the car. As you can see here, it's in the approximate shape. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect so long as it, it takes the general shape of where it's supposed to be. And then once we get the hardware on there, it will just screw into the tight hugging shape that it's supposed to take in its final form. So we're in really good shape now. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this fiberglass cure overnight tonight. And I'll come out here tomorrow and pry this thing off the car and we'll start doing our refinement. <laughs>